Hello. Oh gosh, my voice already sounds a bit hoarse. Let me uh, take a sippy. I'm not a horse, I'm a bat. Hello, hello. Hi, Ashley. Ashley. We, we are uh, blessed by the presence of at least one fairy. <laughs> oh, also, I saw the um, FB2 style art uh, that you posted, wishy washy. Nice stuff. Very nice. Um, Wake in time for a spacey bash dream. Ah! Hi, Elfie Fay. Okay, so we have at least two fairies among us. They're not. They're not Amogus fairies. They are regular fairies. Well, not right. No, no fairy is, is regular. They're all extraordinary. <laughs> Multiple fey detected. <laughs> it's not just spacey Bototelli time, and it's not just spacey Rubotelli time. It's uh, fairy time. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Ah, uh, yeah, I figured out why I was feeling funky last stream. Um, I don't know if it's like an ear infection or, or if like the the um ear fluids are just like out of whack, but I um I have vertigo right now. <laughs> oh shoot. Why are the ear scratches not working? Mm. Did I not enable it? Skip. Oh, yeah, I have to log into the program that handles it. Ear problems in more ways than one. <laughs> A very fairy time for you. Nice. Castle Titania? I've never heard of that. Are they per perchance a fairy? Um, okay, let me try doing ear scratches now. Okay, just gotta wait 10 seconds. <laughs> I have a cooldown in effect. Hanging upside down can't help. Yeah, well, actually it does, kind of, but... There's like a certain number of stuff. There we go. Okay, I, I scratched my own ears for the sake of your reading. Mm. Thank you. Uh, feels nice. So the trick to kind of like alleviate vertigo is you like you raise your head up. Like you look up as high as you can go and you just leave it there for a few seconds. Um, and then you lower your head. Like, you basically get down on your knees on the ground. And then you lower your head so it's completely upside down. And kind of tuck your chin a little bit. And leave it that way. Um, until you start, um, until, like, your head starts spinning. And then once it stops, you turn your head in the direction of the ear that has a problem. And then you wait a little bit. And then you raise your head halfway. And then you wait a little bit. And that kind of tra that kind of like uh, makes the fluids um, like it kind of empties out the fluids since they're in the wrong part of the ear canal. I've done that a few times and it's helping, but it's not like completely gone yet. Like I can still feel it sometimes when I look like down really far. But it's definitely a lot better than um, than it was uh, yesterday morning. Oh my goodness! Like, have you ever played Skyrim? Uh, with mods and like had that problem where if you try to start a new game um, <clears throat> like the carriage you're in at the beginning of the game just kind of like spins completely out of control uh, it felt like that <laughs> hello 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 Aegis hello Rose we're just getting situ situated talking about how many fairies are in the chat Oh yeah, the, the, the alternate sc start mod for Skyrim. I still have my save file on uh, my external hard drive. Like, it must be over a decade old at this point. 
Like there were, I, I played for like a good month or two and then I stopped playing and then five years later I loaded up my save file again and it worked perfectly. Um, I wonder if it still works. Yeah, alternate start is nice. It kind of like, like the intro is, is pretty spectacular the first ten times you play it, but after that, like sometimes it gets a little tedious. So it's nice to have like the alternate start mod. And Skyrim is still relevant. Because it's still getting ported to other things. Ah, okay. Freedom Planet Facts. Thank you for the Freedom Planet Facts redeem. Alright, let me pull up. Um, I made I started a list so that I would, I would be prepared. Um, where did I put it? Okay. Okay. Did you know? There's a classic cheat code based on the level select code for Sonic 1 that you can input in Freedom Planet 2's title screen. This code unlocks classic mode right away uh, without having to complete adventure mode first. Yeah. Originally it was actually like a code that, that put the game into like a debug state. Um, but people would, wouldn't really have a use for that. It was mainly for the dev team, so I replaced it with a code that unlocks, unlocks classic mode for people um, who want, who like, it, it's, just, it's especially useful for like speedrunners and stuff who um, go over to a new PC and for some reason can't uh, transfer their save files over. And that way you can start classic mode right anyway. Yeah, even Morrowind's still relevant. Morrowind's my favorite so far. Although I, I, I very much enjoyed um, Oblivion in the Skyrim. Funky Dreams. I have had some. Um, but I honestly can't remember what they were about. <laughs> but I get them all the time. I'm a lucid dreamer. Oh yeah, I heard about Skywind. Uh, thank you for the ear scratches. Thank you, Dark Moon. Mm. Feels nice. Ah. Oh, it's Sky Oblivion as well. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Ah, sippy. I'm not gonna wait for a point redeem <laughs> for that. Yeah, ear scratches. I added an ear scratch. Um, well, I, I added a bunch of uh, extra uh, points rewards um, on our last stream. I added one for uh, ear scratches and uh, for uh, stating a Freedom Planet fact. Oh, full voice acting for all of Morrowind? That sounds amazing. And like I must admit that um, Morrowind's dialogue te text can get a bit long-winded so it'll be interesting to see how um, how they transferred over to voice acting. Whispered me the Earl uh, to Sky Oblivion. Thank you. But uh, I, I've, I've um, checked it out before, so I know where to look. But thank you for the link regardless. Voice actors, nice. Yeah. Ah, Elder Scrolls games. So much fun. Those dreams where all the games you've played just kind of blend together. Oh yeah, I, I get a kick out of those dream kinds of dreams as well. Ugh, first person RPG in Annapolis. Or JRPG style. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, there is a game that I am interested in playing today. Uh, it They have an active Kickstarter right now actually. Um, it's called Rubato. And actually, um, Headcanon put out a, t out a tweet uh, saying that they were helping to publish it. That's pretty awesome. I had a feeling there was something special about this game. Hmm. It must be special to have the backing of such a prestigious um, development studio. 
Oh, oh, you're super sleepy. Feel free to get some rest. I'll have a, a, a VOD up, um, like always. And I'll have it uploaded to YouTube uh, um, the following day, hopefully. Okay, um... Let's, uh, no pun intended, but let's hop over uh, to my uh, game uh, screen. <laughs> it's impossible for you not to think about fairies for more than like five minutes. That makes sense, since you're a fairy as well. Um, it's kind of like a human, like, trying to go one day without thinking about other humans. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's possible. Because if you're if you're thinking about stuff that you personally want to do, then you're technically thinking about a human. Uh, you're thinking about yourself. If you are a human, I always think about bats. Of course. Okay. Um. Let me find a Z game. Uh, there it is. How does it sound compared to my voice? <laughs> A bit loud? Okay. I agree. It actually sounds um, loud on my computer as well, so I will. Okay, how's that? I turned it down by over half. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh! I love interactive title screens. I can move too. Nice. We've we, we've got WAS controls again. W A S D. <laughs> ah! What? Okay. Okay. Right mouse button rivets. Ah, that's fun. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the hydration reminder. I'll take quick sippy. gosh it's it's really cool because it, it really it, it, it like takes you straight into the gameplay kind of ah! more <laughs> what what's going on ah. okay enemies collect okay I'm I'm already learning think various things about the game so onions are bad uh, and and bunnies are bad too. Oh yeah, my Mario paints tail screen. <laughs> what? Uh, I wonder if I have uh, hit points. Probably not. Chaos. Chaos. Woo! So I. Oh, okay. I died on the title screen. <laughs> I died on the title screen. <laughs> Grapple frog arena. Yeah, it depends on the, on where you can grapple, I guess. Chaos. Yeah, you can you can pick up enemies like in Rena. I wonder if you can like grapple on train. Boink, boink, boink. Okay. So cute. I like that a lot. Uh, anything I should be aware of? Uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, nope. All right, let's just let's just uh, hop into it. That time the pun was intended.
Right, pal. It's your go first. All right, prepare to eat my dust. Oh, ho, ho. that one looks like Earth. That's what happened while you were in the bathroom, Rubato. The likelihood is we're all gonna die, so... Ow. Quit it with the drama queen act. Well, be as good as dead if the boss finds out what we did, Mikey. Find out? What's the boss gonna do about it, Tony? Call security on us? Y y yes He'll get security. The space police, Mikey. They're part of the same company as us. But we ain't cops, are we, Bernie? We're men in suits in space. Space suits. Well, it's not like the boss has tasked us with anything in a while. Could be worth running and hiding out for a while. Anyway, look, Rubato. We, uh, I... I kind of messed up when we need a solid from you. Yeah, some idiot thought it'd be funny to blow up almost the entire solar system. How would I have known those cheap pool balls would be so powerful? Look, that doesn't matter, guys. The space police will be on us, on us any second now. Oops, my chair's broken. Snap, yeah. We gotta start packing our stuff to get out of here. About those, about those planets, Rubato. I think most of what's remaining of them has orbited back to Earth. Oh, that's a clever way to explain how, like, some world maps have, like, a patchwork of different environments that might not go together. That's creative. I think if we manage to collect what's left of them, we'll be able to form the planets back together again. Don't worry, though. I'll be helping you, uh, via voice chat. Take this. Got the dangly cheap earphones! I prefer the earphones that just kind of, like, hang over the, the, um, outer part of your ear. Like, the ones that go, like, directly into your ear, ear canal. Um, those get kind of, uh, gross after a while. <laughs> those are really cheap earphones, yeah. That way we can communicate uh, via the internet whilst we'll we're all on the run. Technology sure is neat, huh? We got a safe house down at the city. We'll meet you there and form some sort of plan. You don't like the ear in, in, in ear earbuds either? Yeah, same. <laughs> I like to crash there sometimes, usually with monster trucks. Alright, we also need to forge some legal documents, just in case we're arrested. So, like, the fake ID I use all the time to get man stuff, like sports cars? Yeah, sorta. Of. But it's not uh, for buying little electric kitty cars. Check this out. If we're arrested, we'll show them this totally legit doc. <laughs> I am not a criminal. I am super awesome, cool, smart, and awesome. Also, Tony is the best. Also, Tony has giant abs. Also, you can't... Arrest any of us because we are too awesome. Signed, Tony underscore. <laughs> Error. What? Okay. That's our alibi prepped and we're ready to go. So, uh, what now? We run, boys. We're in space, Tony. Well, how about the, te the teleporter? Broken. The car? I crashed it. How else can we get out of here then? Oh! I have an idea, but you're not gonna like it.
I'm not sure throwing everyone off the office was a good idea. Oops. Oh, he threw uh, Rubato as well. I can't feel my face. Hey, Rubato, we just got to Earth. Are you there? You, 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 you. Connection lost. Phone's on zero bars. Oops. Okay. Oh, I can double jump. Nice. Alright, so there are specific things you can grapple. And they are marked by these uh, spirally things. Okay, so the small one, I bet I can throw. Okay, hold the lick button to throw. Oh, right, right. Right mouse button. Oh, sweet! I can carry it. Nice. Yeah, the animations are so bouncy. Frog Fraction. Oh, I haven't actually played Frog Fractions before, but I heard some interesting things about it, about it not being what it seems. Jump and lick the hook. Try swinging ac across. Oh, okay. There's your, your staple, um, grapple game, um, hook, uh, swing thingy. That are in all games of all the grappling. Okay. Whee! Nice. Hello, not a cat. I am a frog. Uh, I just started like I um, am in a tutorial. Woo! Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> grapple points are in most grapple games, yeah. Come on, this hunk of garbage. Oh, Rubato. Did you get far enough without my help? I doubt you ever needed. Oh. You're in a bottomless, inescapable pit. Nice one. Hey, Tony. There's a page on this. Let's turn to page 139 of the employee instruction manual. Hmm. All employees who find themselves in an uncertain, inescapable doom. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, thank you for the ear scratches. Not, not a cat. <laughs> oh, not, not a cat. So you are a cat. Uh, double negative. <laughs> Thank you for the scratches. Mm, feels nice. The humor gives me major WarioWare and Incredible Crisis vibes. Yeah! I did I did get kind of like a WarioWare uh, vibe from this, the style of this game. Oh, right. Plus, press O to blow yourself up. I can blow myself up. Yeah, I know. I don't see an O button around me either, but this is standard procedure, apparently. Is it an O? Is it O or zero? Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, he's not back yet. Oh, phew, that worked. Wait, why are you back at that flag? Why'd you reappear like that? And all those green ball coins you collected, they're gone. That's life insurance, Tony. It's all high tech these days. It's owned by the company, too. It means we can exploit it till they fire us. I have insurance on my monster truck. Yeah, no wonder why you keep smashing it into my house. <laughs> Blowy uppy button. Oops. Oh, a cat was taken. Taken? Yeah. S sadly, in, in, um, I, I had a similar issue where, like, a spacey bat was taken, so I had to do, uh, add an underscore. What's this? Okay. Toilet. Can I flush you? Got a chunk of the planet? Find five planet bits to make a planet. Oh, nice. It kind of reminds me of the Sega Saturn logo. I wonder if that's intentional. OMG, this is like Tomba. 
Uh, I can't say I've played Tomba. Oh. It's been so long since you've seen another game that reminds you of Tomba. Nice. Yeah, this is this actually has a um if you're just joining me, this game actually uh, has a Kickstarter going right now, and this is the demo for it. <laughs> Sega Saturn. And, and the way that, that um, I collected it, and the way that, like, the label came up reminded me of, like, collecting moons in, in um, Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I'm thinking about backing it, too. Okay. Tossy, tossy. Okay. So where was the spot where I uh, had to... Okay, there. Oh, thank you for the ear scratches. Uh, feels nice. Thank you, Pocket. Whew. Okay, no, 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 I want to go back. Ah. I'm, I'm kind of glad that you can kind of like prop yourself up. Um, all the way without having to build up momentum first. Uh, okay, wait. Let me swing it and then double jump. Can I double jump after letting go? Uh, you love frogs an unreasonable amount, Dusky. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there something I'm missing? Okay. Oh, oh, I'm pressing up accidentally. Oh, I almost get I almost got it. Is there wall jumping? Can I wall jump? Okay. Okay. Okay, so if I click, I can let go without expending my double jump? No? Okay. Okay, I feel like I could, maybe. No, okay. Mm -hmm. What if I pressed... Uh, maybe reel it in as you're about to jump. Okay. Yes! Got it! Licking secret. Yeah, that's gonna take some getting used to. Okay. Nice. Oh, who are you? The locals call this place the bakery, though it's a bit big for one, right? <laughs> Rumor has it that the architect messed up the blueprint, meaning that the entire thing was built in kilometers instead of meters. <laughs> it was abandoned for years until these dumplings started showing up and called it their home. Oh, those weren't onions, those were dumplings? Now I'm completely lost in it. There's no exit anywhere. I don't even remember how I got here in the first place. Okay. Nice. Okay, I think this is where I, yeah, this is where I was before, so I can just go through the door. Onions. I mean dumplings. Come on. I want to throw Whatever. Eh. Yay, Sega Saturn. The first, it, the new that's the first one, but it's the third one I've collected. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there something up here? Aha! You can't hide from me, secret. Okay, this is gonna be. 
Grab it. Grab it, grab it. Nice. So one left and we can make a planet. I appear to need something for that, so I'll just go back. Oops. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you for the hydrate reminder. Oh. Oh, I, I like how it has the bonk sound for pausing. <laughs> mm. Sippy time. Oh, sweet. I see the map now. I get ya. And I shall stretch. Thank you for the stretch reminder. Uh, hold the pose. You love the deep piano in this song. It just gives you big frog vibes for some reason. Yeah. I like when the, uh, when pianos go hard in video game music. Like in, in otherwise like boopy um, music tracks. Billiards. Oink. Nice. So I, if I collect enough of them of these thingies, it, it heals me automatically. Okay, what's that? Oh, what is that thing? I'm not sure why, but I feel like uh. Like, I can't wrap my head around why sometimes the tongue seems longer and other times it seems shorter. Okay! I guess this is a bonus stage. <laughs> Bunnies. Point. Point. Okay, there we go. Okay, right click, pull block down. Nice. Alright, there's no grab spot on that. Ah! This is so jank. Okay, okay, okay. So if I press jump as as I'm bouncing on the thing, I only have my normal jump height. That does feel a bit counterintuitive. Like, logically, if I press jump as I'm uh, bouncing on the dumpling, it should make me go higher. Oh, okay. We're flooded now. Oh, yes! Frogs can swim. Thank you. You for that. Ah, bathtub physics. Okay, okay. Give me, give me the tasties. This game has a relationship with logic. A uh, good point. <laughs> How? Okay. I just had to do that. Point. Let me in, please. A platonic relationship, yeah. Oh, new plan. You can form a planet now and level up. Fix one right now. Uh, if you change your mind, you can go to plants in the pause menu to fix a planet and level your HP up. Okay, I'll just wait until I'm out of here. Nice. Planets. You are very silly if you didn't find this already. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, how do I build? Maybe click this? No. This one. Uh, oh, there we go. Sega Saturns. That's not Saturn. That's Neptune. But I have more HP. Huzzah. Nice work. You fixed one of the plants already. I figured from the really large explosion I saw in the sky. Luckily, we've also found plenty of the chunks from the plants as well. I'll make sure to give you some when we meet up. We need to call them something else. Chunks of the planets doesn't work well. Actually, the specimen we're collecting is nameless, but it's known to be the life force of every- Silence, nerd! They are bits of the planets, not Einstein science stuff. Planet Bits has a good ring to it, I think. Oh wait, are you in the King's Bakery? Exit should be somewhere, but I remember it's locked by a door. If you find some more Planet Bits, though, I think you'll be able to sneak in and open it. Neptune has been restored. Planet Bits versus Chunks of the Planets. <laughs> now I'm imagining that being a Splatfest theme. Like a normal Splatfest, not the triple Splatfest from Splatoon 3. <laughs> Act Razor times <laughs> Gravel Force Reno. The good bits! Point. Okay, so now I need eight Planet Bits. Okay, I'm all the way back here after the bonus stage. There we go. Uh-oh. Samuel and Paige, um, have detected something. Let me check what it is. <laughs> Samuel did their help. Cease this mirth this instant. <laughs> yeah, like... <sighs> their sniffers sure do like to, um... Uh, have false alarms. <laughs> barky doggy. I'm barky doggy. Yeah, I, I went out there and I didn't see anything. So, I guess, um... Maybe somebody just walked by the street real, real quick. But, um, they're good dog guard dogs. I'll give them that. Very good guard dogs. They they keep the home safe from potential intruders. <laughs> okay, so I have been to that door. Definitely creative brain day today. You just doodled some more game concept art that sprung up your, in your head. Awesome! Yeah, like... Yesterday, we, we got a lot of, like, planning work done for, for um, our next big project. After Freedom Plant 2. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I can't wait to, to share stuff later. But I can't really right now. But... Oh my gosh. It's, it's like, it's one of my dream projects. 
lost or forgot your loaf, you can always find your way by heading towards the top right. <laughs> oh, that's the concept of your game? A boomer shooter about a demon girl breaking out of heaven with the help of her fairy girlfriend? Nice. Oops. Uh, untap the window. Uh, there we go. Okay. Thank you. Weird back room. Oh, oh, you'll see it. You'll, you'll see it all right when it's when it's ready to be seen. <laughs> and on top of that, I'm also planning some some really exciting things about my official debut. I'm not sure when it will happen, but uh, things are starting to line up, and I'm extremely excited. Uh, garbage. Okay. Can I lick the cans? It's Peppas. Look. They're Peppas Pepe cans. Okay. Please. Please, let me out. Ah. Peppas cans. Uh, uh, uh. Let me out, please. Please. Uh. No. Let's figure it out. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay, we made it. Oh, nice. That is your idea. A every idea is made better with fairies. Oh, gosh. I can't look those things. So, oh. There we go. Oh, you're getting a freeze warning there? Oh gosh. Yeah, I um I was hearing that like the fact that we currently have a cold front in the east and a warm front in the west means they're gonna collide soon. And when they do, generally when that happens, we get like snowstorms or rainstorms. Oh cool, you can bounce them back. Yeah, up here in the northeast, uh we're scheduled to get um snowfall, I think. But the worst of it is going to be like, um, like mid-north, like where the Great Lakes are, supposedly. But hopefully it isn't awful, like hopefully it isn't awful awful. Yep, apparently it's snowed this early, but supposedly it's not going to last. It's, it's going to go back up to the what's usual for this time of year. Oh, ah, haha. -ha. Elevator maintenance. Boink. Oh, okay. So that bonus stage introduced the uh, dumpling trampolines earlier. Then, oh, what a cute little fox. I wonder if that's uh, based on somebody from the dev team. This building, it's like a maze. I've been here for four hours, but I don't know how you get out. I just wanted a croissant. I wouldn't mind a croissant. Oh, okay. Ah, dare I go into the bonus room? Sure. Oh, okay. No, no, come on, come on. Okay, I'll run, I'll go around it. Uh, come on, you can do it. Yes. Uh, yes. It snowed a couple times in October, but it's pretty rare. Yeah. Yeah! The 
area boss door has unlocked. Also, thank you for the hydration reminder, uh, Lilith. Thank you so much. I shall sippy. not watched the Owl House yet, um, mostly because I don't really watch a lot of, like, streaming services. Ah! Slax, thank you for gifting the sub. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy the, the extra cute batty and doggy emote selfie fay. Thank you. But yeah, I've heard good things about Owl House. I want to watch it sometime. So, uh, do I just... Okay. Oh, two plants! Nice! Checkpoint. Cool. I like how it says cool. I just noticed that. Okay, so I'm guessing I go through this door to get the elevator working. Oh, you see the dumplings in the back, and they got their physics back there, too. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so... Do I go up here? Haha, -ha, I do. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Okay. Ooh, witchcraft. Witchcraft and by witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, this level's huge. I'm guessing they wanted the the for the the the, the demo level to be um, quite sizable, so that people could get a feel for what the game's gonna be like. Oh, ah, double swing, double swing. Uh, I keep forgetting that I have to let I have to press the button twice and not like just simply let go. I have a feeling that's what the, um, that's what the extra setting and the options was referring to. Okay. Oh! Okay, gotcha. You hear about witchcraft and lesbian elves, does that count? I assume so. Whoops. Uh. <laughs> you screamed. Is there any way to look down? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Okay, let me try again. Uh, nice. Sweet. Thank you. New planet. Oh yeah, Frogon looks really cool too. I wouldn't mind playing that on stream sometime. It looks it looks super polished. I've I've also been meaning to check out Carol Blaster. That's another uh game with a frog based protagonist. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. This is one of those kinds of please. Please, let me get through. Uh, I don't think there's a way to... Okay. Alright, let's try that again. Needs more Wario Land anxiety. <laughs> There's a way to keep those from coming back. Come on, come on. Hmm. Pick 
Pixel is a fantastic dev and girl boss cat is a mood. Oh, nice. Do this, but they come back. There's a door in the top right. I'm not sure if that's um, the right place to go to get the planet. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. So I can hold left to kind of push it, but then I have to get it over the other side again. There's a ladder blinking while grabbing the plank. Uh... Oh, wait, I think I see something. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Nice! So if I can just get up here, then I can use that as a shortcut. make those explode. Maybe if I bring it over here. Hmm, maybe I need to approach it from the top. This way. Ah, new secret. Okay, so I go up this way and then uh, I drop down here. No, uh, down here. Nope. Yeah, the physics do seem a little fiddly. I assume it's something that they're gonna uh, polish with funding since they have a Kickstarter going right now. Okay, so there's that. Okay. So, I can't really get to it until I can figure out how to blow up those things. Okay, so let me just go to uh, the bonus stage that I opened up. Boink. Okay. Uh, no! No. There you go. <clears throat> Thank you. No! Okay, this is one of those stages. Oh, computer. Okay, come on, come on. What? I'm stuck in here because of that blue flying thing. Crashed right into it. Mm -hmm. You seem quite versatile. Maybe you could lure it back to where I smashed my car. <laughs> that hurts my voice. Try finding a way to loop back to it and have it. Good luck. It's the un- they're- supposedly they're dumping- dumplings, but they look like onions to me. <laughs> Oops.
appreciate that that the camera uh, swivels to the thing that you you just opened. Okay. So I guess uh, I need to have something with a bigger hitbox. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I could, like, get on the other side of it. So put it in a position where I can kind of, like, go backwards and then approach it from the other side. Okay. Maybe this way? Nope, not gonna work. Oh, I could use the box, yeah. Okay. Let me try that. Uh... Okay. Let's push this down here. Okay, so now I can do that. So let me lure it over. Did, did the thing did the thingy reset so it's a little easier to get out? It did. Okay. So maybe I can give this another honest try. Oh wait, no, I don't have the the the. I don't know how to um, destroy the blowy uppy blocks. So I will just. Eh. Oh, okay. I see. There's like a like a tron lines there. <laughs> okay, kitty. As a chef, I love to eat new food, so I came here searching for culinary delights. Unfortunately, all the food is made out of plasticine. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> I am so hungry. <laughs> Would you ever own a snake? Um. Probably not, because I'm, I'm not really that familiar with how to take care of reptiles. And uh, I would rather not have something that needs um, live food. What? Okay. Ah. Oh, no music. This is ominous. Computer? Computer. Okay. Let's plug this in. Let's plug this baby in. <laughs> what? Okay. Welcome to the virtual world. Press confirm to continue. Okay. Gosh, there's a lot of uh, bonus content. I like how this is a remix of the other stage music. <laughs> Computer frog. There we 
go. Pretty huge and <clears throat> pretty huge demo and content, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it's a pretty beefy demo. But then again, I am um, going out of my way to get most of the secrets. So I think if you just like made a straight beeline for the boss and only collected the planet, the planet bits that you absolutely need, um, it would be shorter. Trash can. What what is trash doing in in uh, the computer? Well, there a lot of lots of computers have trash, so. Point. Didn't put it in the recycle bin, yeah. Yeah, the music is really good. No! Oh, it's too bad. Like, I just know I threw the bunny at the at the onion dumpling and uh, it didn't destroy them both. It only destroyed the one that I tossed. Well, nothing up there, no? Okay. Uh. No, 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 no. Uh. Is it down here? Or maybe. Checkpoints right there, so it's fine. Give me a sec. I can throw up too. Okay. Yep, we're in cyberspace now. Point. Okay, that was a boss door. Nice. Yeah, like what I did was, um, I, uh, Unplugged this computer and I plugged it into this wall, and then I could um, insert myself into the internet. <laughs> nice. Um, ah, spam bot, go away. Mm. Let me see. <laughs> How do I ban you? Okay. There we go. Thank you, Dusky. <laughs> Be gone! Thank you for the ear scratches, Seslax. Ah, uh, feels nice. Alright, boss time. Here we go. Or not? Fast. Ah, uh, I saw a planet. No! Gah. Cops are back. The cops pack the goods and get moving. We create good bread, good services for everyone, yet we get this in return. Dumpling shield activate. Okay. Okay. You're lost. 
if you want to use an attack that makes you vulnerable. To be fair, that is a very uh, Wario uh, thing to do. Okay. Uh. Point. Polygon shield. Nice. No, not yet. I'm not done yet. You see, that was only a mere fraction of my power. They call me the Dumpling King for a reason. Well, my actual na name is King, so Dumpling is more of a title. I'm not actually a king. Anyway, here I go. Time to increase my power levels. Bring it on. Wait, I gotta change. I need privacy. <laughs> nice. Oh, the uh, Rubato's face. <laughs> that's that's a that's a reaction face for sure. <laughs> okay, okay. This is cursed. Yeah. Oh, it's these things. Oops. Use it again. Thank you. Yes, this this surely is a video game. <laughs> I keep forgetting how short my tongue is. <laughs> Japanese weirdness is wonderful, yeah. Grr. Dang, police. I won't stop without a proper victory. Why aren't you arresting me? You aren't part of the space cops. I forgot my glasses. Oops, I am pretty old. Sorry. Oh, you're just looking for planet bits? What are those? What are those? My apologies, my friend. As of recent, the space police have been skirmishing our lovely bakery. Due to whatever health and safety concerns are, they stole our donuts, too. We feed our people and the local community for free, yet we keep getting called on for using plasticine in our bread. How ridiculous. Everyone knows you can't eat wheat. We're made out of that stuff. That's like drinking water whilst being made out of 70% of it. It's so silly. Anyway, these planet bits you're looking for. They're those round shiny things, right? It's quite strange. The space police took most of these off us instead of our pastries. Here you go. Now I need to set off. Uh, I gotta make sure those space cops aren't hijacking our food supply. Oh, and feel free to look around. You are our customer after all. Goodbye, friend. You're welcome here anytime. Okay. Dumpling King defeated. Oh, he winked. You see that? Oh, geez, the space police. And I thought Bernie was just being paranoid. That Dumpling King guy. He basically just told us that they operate in these parts. We better be careful. If we're done finding planet bits, we should hurry out of here before it's too late. Oh, wait a second. I got an email. Sender Dakon, Dad. Hi, Tony. Could you please show Rubato this? Hi, thank you for playing the game. I hope you enjoyed playing. I've been working on this for almost three years now, so to have a good chunk of it fully realized and playable is so really surreal to me. Oh, my gosh, I know the feeling. However, I've been developing the game out of my own pop pocket, which is why I've launched a Kickstarter campaign for the game. If you enjoyed the game, Share and help back the Kickstarter so it can uh, be finally finished. Oh, and in regards to this bit of the game, at this point you would unlock the next area, but since this is a demo and all, you are stuck here forever. Mwahaha. 
but this should give you a chance to fully explore the bakery, since this isn't the type of platformer where you just hold right and run from point A to point B. I, I can see that. Of course, this would be a good point to stop the demo and finish, but if you're playing for the first time, then you can check the plant section in the pause menu for hints for any planet bits you might have missed. Awesome! Yeah, that's a good feature. Again, thank you for playing the game, and I hope to share more with you in the future. Thank you for making it! If you can't back anything, please share the Kickstarter campaign page about. It'd mean a lot to me. Uh, let me do that right now. Hold on. Kickstarter. Here is the campaign page for Rubato. Feel free to the project if you enjoyed. Alright, I posted the link in case you want to check it out. He you said you're stuck here in the bakery forever? Well, you better back that Kickstarter campaign I opened in your browser to get out. Oh, yeah, he, he opened it in my browser just now. Oh, and that rocket launcher over there. I wonder if it's worth taking with us. Mons. Oh, okay. Rocket launcher. So I can go back and do that, that thingy. <laughs> Got the rocket launcher! Break apart pullable and explosive blocks and snipe off enemies from a long distance. Press Q and E to change items. Oh my gosh! Ah! Nice! So I, I just walk around with, with a freaking rocket launcher for the rest of the game. <laughs> rocket launcher. how the room just magically changed. No clue either, bud. <laughs> okay. What's this? Is this where we used to be? I think so. Oh, what's this? Oh, hey. I'm Tucky, and this is my magic traveling shop. So cute! All these clothes are magic, meaning they'll fit any size and shape. Here's a secret though, they're more like holograms. Unfortunately, my magic has its limitations, so the clothes won't always work. But don't worry, I don't think anyone will notice that you're technically naked. I think at least. That probably was the worst sales pitch I've made in my life. <laughs> what? What is this? I must know. Do you want to buy the bottle costume? Okay, so how do I change? Oh, you can just look stuff off the shelves and bring them there. Okay, so how do I change uh, my costume? Is this... Th oh, this must be the regular one. Uh, some kind of smug one and like a sketch version. Okay, I gotta see this. Uh, items? Oh, I see. Items. Uh, clothes. <laughs> nice! Uh, did I hit? Come on. I'm not sure how to equip it. What? Excuse me? <laughs> sure you want to buy that, my man? <laughs> you sure you want to buy the my man Toby costume? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
What's this one? <laughs> man, man, <laughs> man purchased. I'm sure, you want to buy the old Bato costume? Oh, it's, so it's like a like a beta design. And a little beanie. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this way. Old bottle, old smelly and wrinkly, the not so ultimate form. Oh, this one works. Nice. It'd be cool if like different costumes sometimes change what your ribbit sounds like. <laughs> the hound, the dog, most importantly, something, something. That one does not work yet. Okay. I can't wait for that one to work. And the bottle one. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna use the bottle one once it goes on. Ah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. I wonder if like... Uh... <laughs> I, I wonder if uh, the Toby one will work too if I if I leave and then come back or if I buy another costume. What is this? What is this? What is that? The silly bottle? What? Okay. What's this? I'm gonna buy the new fashionable Timage costume? Okay. It's only one. Uh, the bottle. <laughs> Carbon. <laughs> Carbon dioxide for life. <laughs> oh yeah, the the old Bato Garfield vibes. Yeah. New fashionable. Ah. Hugo Industries request. No screenshots. Print screen system requirements. Remove that button now. Okay, so it's it's a it's a JPEG JPEG version. Oh my gosh! Yippee! That one's not working, I think. Nope. Where did okay? Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, this is so silly. I love it. <laughs> nice. It, it just kind of spins in the air. <laughs> My man. My man. Little man. What? What? The, the pee bottle. <laughs> I really love this so much. <laughs> okay, I gotta see this. <laughs> Created using highly advanced scientific software. 3D polygon rendering near you. Hey, thanks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> play the, you're gonna play, play the whole game as a P? Honestly, I kind of want to play the whole game as a P too. Try jumping a silly bato. Um, I'm not sure if silly bato is working. Uh, let me try again. Yeah, it's. It seems the same. Huh. Okay. Alright, what else we got? I think that's all of them. So I can get the. I can afford the one with the beanie. Rubato artist. Hi, Anne. Even though you've been here this whole time. Hey, hey. Uh, okay, where's... Where's... Okay, this frog can draw a shape, act, polygon, communicate, and erase. Nice. I think it's cute. I think uh, my favorite is tied between P. Bato and the bottle. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. 
Nice. Okay, exit. Awesome. So yeah, that's uh, Rubato. I had fun with it. I, I like the I like the charm it has, like the sense of humor and stuff. I do think um, the physics are a little undercooked at this point, but I presume that that's something that they'll polish once they get funding. So I hope it gets funded because it's got a lot of potential to be quite silly and memorable. The Pibato one looks like how you feel during exams. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I I, I remember my college exams. Especially physics class, like, the physics class at my college assumed that you took, like, basic physics classes in high school, and I didn't, so I had so much catching up to do. But I did it, I passed with a C. Yeah. The Peabato looks like, uh, the Game Boy Tamagotchi. Yeah, it does. Only saw the end, but those alt sprites were great. Yeah, um, I'll have the VOD up after I'm done streaming so you can watch me play through the rest of the game. But I quite enjoyed it. And I hope that the Kickstarter um, gets the funding that they need to finish the game as well. Alright. Wow. Only thing that threw you was the vertical camera panning looked a bit jarring at speed. Yeah. I presume that's something that will also be polished. But we shall see. Oh, thank you for the hydration reminder. Ah, and the ear scratches and the stretch reminder. Uh, I am getting pampered right now. Mmm. Okay, now we stretch. Ooh, hold the pose. Ah, okay. Awesome. It's about 25% funded as of tw um, 25 days to go. Nice. Yeah, I hope generally, um, at least from personal experience with projects that I've made and backed, um, they get the majority of their funding uh, the first day or two, and uh, the last day or two. We, I just uh, wrapped up playing Rubato, which uh, is a uh, game about um, a bouncing frog that it uses his tongue to uh, swing around and push stuff and pull stuff. Uh, I will post the link again as well. Starter page. All right. Hello, Event Horizon. We're just wrapping up today. Kickstarter never again, except probably again. But ugh, yeah, like, like I I am very grateful um, that Kickstarter exists as a way for um, small time creators like us to secure funding when we otherwise wouldn't be able to. There are, um, like, compared to, to trying to secure funding from a publisher, there's upsides and downsides. Um, and, yeah, we, we definitely felt those challenges during Freedom Planet's um, Kickstarter. Like, the biggest challenge was, like, trying to uphold all, all of our stretch goals. I think we got kind of got carried away from ourselves. We got a bit carried away with the stretch goals. So... Like, originally we were gonna, um, use some of the money for, like, a Freedom Planet webcomic, um, but we discussed it with our backer backers after the fact and decided to use that money for, um, improving the sprite work in the game, and I think that worked out. And then, of course, the, um, infamous Spade Torque DLC that never came to pass. Sadly, uh, it pushed our engine too far. But, um... Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be prepared to never hear the end of it if if the project isn't like exactly how you described it. But just be patient with your backers, and if 
for some reason plans change, always, always um, offer refunds. Have to wait until you raise more money before you can pledge anything. Just pledge to Arrow GPX. That sounds interesting. Is that like an F Zero type game? Hmm. Not all projects have to go that way. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, yeah, you're you're referring to Mighty Number no. Nine. Like, personally, like on its own as a standalone game, um, I enjoyed Mighty Number no. Nine. I thought it was perfectly serviceable. Like, kind of like a PS2 era type um, action game. But it's just like the hype surrounding it and like the, the funding that it got and everything and um, the star power behind it. Um, I think that set, its set the expectations like astronomically high. Since you mentioned it, did you watch the Kickstarter trailer for Tears of Magic? I have not. I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. But it sounds interesting. Um, oh yes, it's an F-Zero-like game. Looks really fun. You've been following it for years. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm puzzled why Nintendo hasn't done anything with F Zero um, for years and years and years. Like, I remember like Miyamoto or somebody saying that um, it a new F Zero wouldn't bring anything new to the table. But at the same time, they're porting a whole bunch of Wii U games over to the Switch, or they have over the years. That's not bringing anything new to the table, and yet people like it. So. It'd be awesome if they could um, bring back the GameCube uh, F-Zero game onto Switch someday. Or at least, like, do they have F-Zero X on the, um, on the, on the Nintendo, six Nintendo 64 Virtual Console? You heard F-Zero GX got less sales, maybe that's the reason? Uh, yeah. The almighty dollar. Always, um, swaying the big corporations to, um, cancel, uh, certain franchises. Um, yeah, that's the thing, like, mm, the bigger studios, um, can't afford to take risks, so if something underperforms, that, then they just don't prioritize it anymore. It makes sense, but it's it's just that when it happens, and you're a fan of the thing that they're they're uh, not prioritizing anymore. <laughs> that and FGO GX cost more to make. Yeah, I can see that. It's still like super, it's still like a really fun and super stylish game. <laughs> I want to make a racing game that's just like super stylish and doesn't even try to compete with the likes of like Mario, Mario Kart or anything like that. Just try and make it your own thing, you know? Sent me the Kickstarter link on Discord. Thank you! You like Mighty Number no. 9, but man, sometimes the bosses are very rude. Yeah. Like, it's really interesting the way that worked out. Like, um... Like, Muddy, Muddy Gunvolt Burst, that ended up being the game that a lot of people wanted the original Mighty Number no. 9 to be. And it's, and it's an 8-bit style to, to boot. Like, it's literally the same game. It's got the same levels, the same bosses, except it's got, um, like, a really cool weapon customization system. Um, and the end game has Gunvolt stuff in it instead of um, the original Mighty Number no. 9's end game. It's very solid. I enjoyed it a lot. And... Um, one of my favorite characters in it is, is like the, the, the Gunvolt's like fairy support girl. You can play as a fairy and shoot stuff. That was nice. And I like the girl with the, um, with the, with the two, with the twin pistols who, who can shoot heart projectiles. She was a lot of fun too. Fairy, 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 fairy. <laughs> uh, Tears of Magic is trying to be Breath of Fire so hard you can mistake it for the real thing. Oh, nice. I never played Breath of Fire, but it's got a passionate fan base, so. I can tell that would be a very good thing to be compared to. Oh. 
Happy seeing spiritual successor projects. Well, you don't wed myself too much to IPs. Yeah. Like, it's always really interesting to see indies kind of make a spiritual successor to a more well-known franchise and then put their own unique spin on it. It's, it's kind of like what I was professing um, during the last stream, where, like, making stuff that starts off as, like, fan projects um, can be a valuable learning tool for aspiring indie developers, where they can kind of, like... <clears throat> have a deeper understanding of what goes into the production of their favorite types of games and then kind of put their own spin on it. Very. Nice. Yeah, my, my vertigo hasn't been a problem, so I think that's a good sign. I think I should be in, in um, tip-top shape again um, by my next stream on Friday. It, uh, it's gonna be like a just, it's gonna be another chatty batty stream. I'm just gonna be talking. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anne. Alright, um, I've not had lunch yet, so I'm gonna go eat. And then maybe give the puppies a snack, because they've been very good, other than that, um, false alarm. <laughs> Thank you all for watching me play this really cool game, and um, <clears throat> feel free to support it if you would like. You don't have to, but um, if you enjoyed uh, Rubato the Frog. But yes, I had fun. Thank you for um, keeping me company and having such nice chatties with this chatty Betty. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I'll see you all on Friday. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!